Aloha. Uh, you can see there's a lot of sun coming in. It's early in the morning. I just wanted to get this shot before my workday starts. Um, I, I'm here because I want to do <sighs> sirens. <laughs> I want to do an update on the Tucker dog food review. What turns out it happened, as I stated in the written portion of my review, Tucker threw up massively after eating the food. And so we cut back, we did um, where I gradually cut in the new food, which I should have done in the first place. However, it turns out it wasn't because it was a new food. There was something in the food he was allergic to. Um, when I cut back the food, the new food, and gave him mostly old food, he was fine. As soon as we got to about half and half, you know, half with the new food, he would start throwing up again. And I cut it back and he'd be fine. And we get back up to half and he'd start throwing up again. And so we finally figured out that there was an allergy problem here. And I actually did some pretty extensive research. Um, I took all the ingredients of the old dog food, all the ingredients of the new dog food. I did a line by line comparison to see what was different. What, you know, what's, see if I could figure out what was making him sick. According to the internet, the most common reasons for dog allergies or dogs to have allergies to food are beef, wheat, and dairy products. Okay, he's never had problems with beef before. That's not, doesn't seem to be an issue. Same with grain. Um, dairy, he's never had a problem with dairy. He loves yogurt and cheese. However, the new dog food had a yogurt product in it. His old dog food, and as far as I can tell, none of the other dog foods we've used have had yogurt product. So I'm thinking that might have been it. Maybe there was something about that, you know, the way they process the yogurt in the dog food. I don't know. I'm a, you know, beef doesn't seem to be a problem for him. We did go from a grain-free to something that, ha no, actually, I take that back. It did not have any wheat byproduct in it. So. The Waisong does not have a wheat byproduct. I wish I had the list in front of me. I could go over it again more closely. But um, no, it was um, chicken and potato meal. So a lot of veggies in the Waisong, a lot of veggies. And one of the things I liked about it, and it was the reason I bought it, when I did my research on Dog Food Advisor, the protein in the Waisong is really high. Um, most dog foods divide it fairly evenly. If you look at the five-star dog foods, they divide it pretty evenly between the protein, the fat, and the carbohydrates. Uh, but the Waisong had, um, see most are, you know, like 35% protein, 30-35% protein. And the Waisong was like at 40 something, 43% or something, I forget now. But it was really high. And so that's what I liked. I liked the higher protein. And maybe that was the issue, the too much protein, it was overkill. Um, so we did switch away from the Waisong. And he hasn't had a problem since. Um, we, I bought it at PetSmart online and I took it back to the local PetSmart here and they very cheerily refunded my money. So that was nice of them. Um, you know, because I bought it online, I was a little bit worried, but they were very nice about it. And let's see, we got a new dog food. We, we, we're gonna try the Kirkland. Kirkland is a four, like a four and a half star four plus star rating. So we're gonna try that and see how that works. And so far so good, but now Tucker himself, <laughs> I've talked about this a little bit in a couple of other videos, Tucker has degenerative disc disease and 
he's kept it at bay for seven years and now it's bothering him again. I had to take him to the vet. He, he basically cannot walk. Um, his hind legs just are kind of atrophied and don't want to work. And so I, I got him to the vet and the vet said there might be a little bit of arthritis in there that's working its way in as well. So now he just doesn't want to use his hind legs. And so at the same time, he also has some rotten teeth in the back. Brush your dog's teeth. Oh. Tucker never let me brush his teeth, so I just didn't. And now I'm, I'm such a bad doggy mom. So now he's got to have four teeth pulled. And so while he's under sedation for the teeth pulling, they're going to do x-rays on his hip, uh, his hips and his legs, his back area, because I don't want them to sedate him twice. So I said, let's just do it once while he's getting the teeth pulled. Very expensive procedure, by the way. <sighs> um, and so he's on anti-inflammatories. Um, I think we're going to start laser, cold laser treatment. So if you've had that done, comment down below, let me know how it went. Uh, I have someone I work with here who, um, not work with her directly, but she works in my building and she's a big proponent, big proponent of the laser treatments. Um, she's been telling me about it for two or three years. And I always just kind of like, yeah, I'll look into that, I'll look into it. and I've done a little surface research but I you know I should have taken him in earlier uh, I can't tell you how badly I'm kicking myself at this point I'm yeah I I just the guilt is overwhelming and so yeah and on top of this I have my mammogram today yeah, so we'll see how that goes, but you know, at this point, I don't really care. All my attention is on Tucker right now. <sighs> so um, I bought him a doggy bed, and he seems to really like the bed. He just kind of like cushions into the middle of it. There's like a little dip area in the middle, and he cushions into that and lays there. And um, although he makes me bring him up on the bed at night, he he won't sleep on the on the doggy bed. He has to sleep on my bed at night, which is fine. <laughs> but that, so that explains the dog food. It's the, um, the whole thing was not the, the Wysong food itself. The Wysong food appears to be a very good food. Um, high in protein if you need that for your dog. A little bit more expensive, but it is, it's those little teeny tiny chunks. So if you have a and I, it looks, by the packaging, it's for dogs and cats. It's, you know, you can use it for either instead of breed specific, or not breed specific, but, you know, pet specific. So, but if you have a small dog that can only do, you know, if you have to buy the small kibble for your dog, then that's a good one. It, the very small sized pieces. So I would recommend that if you're looking for a better dog food. And always check Dog Food Advisor. They list the recalls that are going on or any past recalls. Um, they list all the ingredients and they list what the ingredients do, why they're in there, um, whether or not they need to be in there, and then they list all the nutritional values, and it's just really a good site if you want to get a little bit more detailed with your dog food. So that's it for today, and I will catch up with you later. Don't forget to comment down below if there's anything else you want me to talk about, or um, if you have any questions, and I'll do an, another update on Tucker later. And 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell if you haven't and hit the thumbs up on the video. Aloha. Bye-bye.